Hi and welcome to my maths class. Now we have previously done the proof where it says that if a line is drawn from the center of the circle then it is perpendicular to the chord and then it bisects the chord and we've done a slight deviation or a slight change which says a similar thing but now you are given different things. Now if you were to summarize these two theorems basically they are giving us the following. If I've got the center if I've got the midpoint or if I got that it's perpendicular. Perpendicular means it's 90 degrees. Now for this rule to work you must always have 2 out of 3. If I've got 2 the third one is immediately accepted. So if I've got the center and the midpoint I can immediately say okay so this angle is 90 degrees. If I got the center and 90 degrees I can immediately say okay so this is midpoint. If I got a 90 degrees and midpoint, then I can immediately say, okay, so that's the center. The basic rule is 2 out of 3. Okay, now when you're naming it, it is important. You can't say, oh, it's the center and the midpoint and the perpendicular. You have to name them correctly. Now this one, it is well known as the midpoint chord. But we also have the one that's called perpendicular from center to chord. Now, the name is in what they're giving you. If I give you the midpoint, then I'm the midpoint to the chord. If I give you the 90 degrees, then I'm the chord that's perpendicular. So it's in the name. Now let us look at the question. It says, O is the center of the circle. Then they tell us OM is perpendicular to NL. Look at what they've done. They've given me two things. They've given me that it is perpendicular and they've told me that it's the center. So immediately I know A, if they give me the center and they give me perpendicular, then that means that this line is cut in half because bisect means cut in half. So I have that NM is equal to ML. But why? If you don't put a reason, it's worth nothing. You have to put a reason. So why is it equal? It is equal because So what do I have? It is from the center and it is perpendicular from the center to the chord. Okay? If you, sometimes for this theorem, if you forget the rule and you by mistake write midpoint chord, they are not so extremely strict at the moment. The problem is later they might become so strict and then these small mistakes they might not accept. So it is a good idea to learn the correct term since you are learning it from grade 11. So remember the name is in the question. Perpendicular from the center. And you know it's going to a chord because a chord, you've learned that in the beginning. It's a line from one end of the circle to another. Now, what else do we have? They told us that OM is 60. And they told us that ON is 100. They want us to calculate NM and then they want us to calculate NL. Now this question is usually known for its Pythagoras. If you look, we have a lovely Pythagoras here, 90 degree triangle. So Pythagoras says x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Our hypotenuse side is 100, that's our r squared. Your x and y, you can name it as you want. We're going to say om, right? So om squared, we're going to make it 60 squared. Plus, we don't know mn squared. Do you understand how I'm getting it? This is the hypotenuse side. And then I've got om, which is the other side, and mn, which is the remaining side. If you solve for y squared, now remember, this is your standard Pythagoras, which you learn in grade 9. So, if I'm not writing down all the steps here, it's because I expect you to know Pythagoras. I expect you to know how to solve for y. So, we have 6,400. So y is going to be 80. Now, usually with squared we tell you plus or minus, but this is a length, so we only have a positive. Now y was nm. That means nm is equal to 80. What have we done here? We had done Pythagoras. You need to tell them everything you're doing. Okay? 
they don't accept things without proofs you have to tell them listen i'm doing pythagoras i'm doing this i'm doing this why am i doing this because of this they like their reasons now if nm is 80 then nl is going to equal to 80 times 2 again why because it's the midpoint midpoint means they're exactly the same it's halfway so nl is equal to 160 right let's take the next example it says ab is 24 cd is 10 then they tell us the radius is 13 now that would become very important because a radius means i'm coming from the center So the radius is 13. Now if it's 13 there, then it is also 13 here. Radius is a line from the center to the circumference. So it is also 13 here. Now, the only place you would really construct in is this theorem. Riders don't usually have construction. It's very rare, even the one that I'm doing, you don't tend to construct in it. But because this specific style revolves around Pythagoras, they tend to allow you to construct. But in other riders, you will not be allowed to construct. This is a loner, a rider that tends to work alone, a theorem that tends to work alone. The question is usually absolutely not linked with other theorems, but you can construct on this one. However, the others you may not construct on it. Right, then it tells you, Calculate the distance between the two chords if O is the center. They're emphasizing O is the center because that then gives you permission to use other information. If I got that O is the center and then I construct a line that is 90 degrees or you can say I'm constructing a line that is the midpoint. Okay, so you constructed the line. Let's make it O, E, F, right? And we are saying that it is 90 degrees to A, B and C, D. Now, as soon as you did that, what does that do to my lines here? If you've got the center, you got the 90 degrees, then we got the bisect, the midpoint. So when it's midpoint, what does that mean A, G is equal to? AG would become 12. CF, what would CF equal to? CF would equal to 5. And why? We got... Oh no, sorry. We've got the rule perpendicular to chord from center. Right, so if I've got a triangle now look at the triangles that you have you have a 90 degree triangle you have that this is 12 you have that this is 13 can you calculate this length it's Pythagoras we have a g squared plus so look at what I'm doing a g squared plus o g squared is equal to it's Pythagoras O A squared. Now using our information we have that this is 12 squared. We don't have this so let's make it a Y squared. We have that this is 13 squared. From your Pythagoras you got Y squared is equal to 25, Y is equal to 5. So we have that O G is equal to 5 units. Now let's use the other triangle. Let us use OF, OD, and DF. Right. Okay, so we have OF squared plus FD squared is equal to OD squared. Now we don't have OF, but we have FD. It's 5. And we have OD, which is 13. So using our Pythagoras, we have that OF squared is 144, OF would equal to 12. 
Now, what do they want to know? We have a line. It's O, it's G, and it's F. Now, we have that OG is 5. And then we have that OF, the entire line, is 12. They want to know what is the value of FG. Now, this is standard calculation. 12 minus 5 will give us 7 units. So, what is the distance between the two chords? The distance between the two the distance between the two chords is 7 units. So, GF is equal to 7 units. Thank you for watching.